Tookie was feared on the street and police wanted him behind bars. He was continually arrested, but repeatedly set free. Sometimes if something was going to stick, he would get a lawyer. In fact, Johnny Cochran helped him in at least two cases. He basically lived 25 years of his life without any convictions and a minor arrest record as a juvenile. Then came the crimes that would land him on death row. The murder of Albert Owens occurred in February of 1979. And according to court records, Stanley Tookie Williams was the shooter, and the accomplices were Tony Bam Sims, Alfred Blackie Coward, and a fourth mysterious guy named Daryl. He and some of his homies were driving, and they needed gas money. They pulled off to rob a store, and he sent his two homies in to rob it, and they, they didn't because there were too many people in there, and they came out which infuriated Tukey, and he said, I'll show you how to do it and not leave witnesses. Went down to the local 7-Eleven, and he went in, and he put this kid down on the floor and blew his head off the shotgun. And made a statement to the fact that I'm like, that's how you don't leave witnesses. The brutality of their murder, I, that, that was shocking to me. A month later, police discovered a more brutal crime scene. It was a husband and wife and a daughter that was killed. It's no forensic evidence. It's nothing. Why do you believe that you are behind bars? These people set me up, and they want me to die. 